Hallelujah! Christ is risen! Welcome back, my dear people. Today, the solemnity, the greatest feast of our faith, the Easter resurrection of our Lord, I invite you to reflect with me on what I call the power and the joy of the resurrection. Let's go back to the time Jesus was with his disciples, the time he was moving around in the world. People did not understand him. That's why he was uh, challenged a lot. He was uh, uh, maltreated and even killed. His disciples uh, were asking questions repeatedly and uh, they couldn't understand a lot of things that he said. And the fact that they killed him is also a sign of the fact that they couldn't understand him very well. And that's the reason why they couldn't understand. They didn't reckon with any resurrection. They were not having in their mind that Jesus will rise from the dead. But the resurrection happened. And it happened in such a way that it showed um, with the resurrection, it is about power now. It's no longer about long speeches. It's no longer about long arguments. Power will be demonstrated People will see it, believe it, or be, be, begin to tumble because they don't want to accept it. When Jesus rose from the dead, not even the tomb, uh, watch, uh, the watchers at the tomb, uh, so the, the, the guards of the tomb, we are able to know what happened. It was a miracle. Yeah, the Jews, they were arguing with him. And when Jesus said, destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days. Long argument. Now, after his death, just after three days, he broke the tomb and he rose victoriously. They have to see how he rebuilt the temple of his body, which they destroyed on the cross of crucifixion. Or the apostles who we are always arguing and asking different questions. We are simply not able to understand the Lord. They we are now going to feel it. They felt the resurrection power when they went to the grave and witnessed that the tomb was empty and Jesus was not there. The fact of the resurrection became a remembrance factor that brought back all the words and the works of Jesus alive in them. They were perfectly convinced and were filled with joy. That joy alone, they knew it was not from there. The power and the joy of the resurrection. And you see also the women, especially Mary Magdalene, the woman of ointment. She always went about anointing Jesus' feet and she wanted to anoint his body after death because of the love she had for Jesus. But, my dear, the game has changed. She came there and saw it was no more. It is no more the time of the alabaster oil. It was the time of the Holy Ghost anointing. The game has changed. It has changed for us too. We who are living many years after the resurrection, the first good news is that the power of the resurrection is with us. Jesus rose and changed the history of humanity and made the time after him the time of the resurrection. It means that we who are baptized in the death and resurrection, we rose with the Lord. We are called to live with this power, to be aware, even in our difficult moments, that this power of the resurrection <clears throat> is with us and is ready to do miracles for us. We are also called upon with the power of the resurrection in which we are baptized to represent what Jesus represented as the resurrection man. Yeah, that means to turn negativities upside down, to turn the, the power of darkness upside down, to shine the light of Jesus and his resurrection in our dark 
world that is getting darker through so many misunderstandings in families and friendship circles, through many uh, wars that are happening now here and there, and through many other problems of evil that seem to becloud our world. We should never fear. Stand, we should stand up to it because we have the power of the resurrection with us. This is the power that wants to anoint us and bless us, not just today, but every day of our life. So we bring our families, we bring our plans, we bring our future, we bring even our past to the renewing power of the resurrection that makes everything new and holy. So may the Almighty God bless you, fill you with the power, the joy of his resurrection. And may this joy guide you all through your life. May people ask, why are you always joyful? And so may the Almighty God bless you with the power of the resurrection. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 